Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Welcome, dear viewers, to the daily reminder. This is your brother Abdul Wahab Salim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran describing the state of the human being. And this is a state that not just myself, not just you as a viewer, but all of mankind before this verse is revealed and after this verse was revealed until the day of judgment. This is a state that every single one of us continuously experiences. And that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing the human being says, <laughs> Man for his Lord is extremely, extremely ungrateful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you your ears to hear with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you your sight to see with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you your hands to move with, to shake with, to touch with, to strike with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you your feet to walk with. But at the same time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to question you for all of this. To remind the human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing the state of the human being, He says, Inna al-insan. This man is extremely ungrateful for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One small problem within your body, your body no longer functions right. Allah continues and He says, And if you want to get a proof for that, Allah gives you the proof. The proof is the body, the individual, every single one of us ourselves. Look at your life. When was the last time you extended your hands to the sky and said, Oh Allah, I really thank you for every single thing that I have. Oh Allah, I really thank you for the house that I have that keeps me warm during the winter. Oh Allah, I thank you for the air conditioner that I have that keeps me cold during the summer. When was the last time you extended your hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Oh Allah, I thank you that my brain functions properly. Oh Allah, I thank you that my eyes function properly. Oh Allah, I thank you that my feet function properly. When was the last time any of us did this? <laughs> but you know what? Allah gives, 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 and man takes, takes, and takes. And he's not grateful. And Allah says the proof of him not being grateful is the fact that he himself and his life and his actions profess this. The fact that he is not turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that he is not being grateful and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that he is not employing all of these things within the worship of Allah. But he is not grateful, yet he continues to ask more and more and want more and more. Collect and hoard and exhaust. وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٍ And this man, for the love of good, the scholars explain the word good over here to mean money. For the love of money, this man is willing to do anything. He'll wake up in the morning, early morning. He'll lose his sleep so that he can get one extra hour of money. He will come home late at night so that he can get one extra hour of money. But when it comes to the ajr, it's not, he's just not ready. When it comes to Jumu'ah Salah, he just doesn't want to get up early and go for it. When, not even early, forget that. Most of us nowadays, we, you know, we look at the calendar and we say, SubhanAllah, Salah time is starting at, Salah is starting at 12.30. The khutbah is going to finish around 1 o'clock. We'll reach there 12.55. It'll be safe zone. We'll make it for the Salah. What happened to the khutbah? What happened to coming before Salah and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We know from the Sunnah and we know from the rulings and ahkam of Sharia that every single day we are not allowed to pray right at noon time. After that, Dhuhr time comes in, then we are allowed to pray. For the two or three minutes around there, we're not allowed to pray. But Jumu'ah is an exception. Why? So that you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that you come to the masjid and you're able to pray. But what are we doing? Chasing the dollar bill. That's what we're doing. Every single one of us needs to ask himself this question. وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لِشَدِيدٍ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diagnoses the problem and then He gives you the solution.
If you think and ponder about your death, and you think and ponder about the fact that you will be resurrected, raised out of the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send rain that will go and impregnate the earth. Every single one of us will come out just as the trees come out of the earth. We'll be buried six feet under, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have rain impregnate this earth, and then all of us will stand up, and we will come out of the earth just as trees come out of the earth. And then we will all be walking, talking, but there will be one thing that we'll all have the concern of, and that is what have we done, and what have we done for this hereafter? Was it the dollar bill? Was it the pounds that we're chasing all our lives? Or was it the hasanat? Dear brother, dear sister, this is your brother Abdul Wahab Salim sending you a message, and even before you, sending himself a message that take advantage of this life of yours. It's very, very short. And some of the salaf used to say, إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ أَيَّامٌ إِذَا ذَهَبَ يَوْمُكَ ذَهَبَ بَعْضُكَ You're only a few days. When a portion of your day has left, you cannot ever bring it back. A portion of you yourself has left. It's as if... Today left, your arm has gone. You can never get this arm back. The day after, your leg is gone. You can never get this leg back. A portion of your real existence is gone. As Allah is creating us, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is creating all of humanity, that instance of creation is no longer existent. Whatever you did in it, through your own free will, is what you have presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the day of judgment. We better be prepared for this day. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the tawfiq to prepare for this day. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take the love of the dunya from our hearts. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill our hearts up with the love of the hereafter, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of His Messenger. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.